Something supernatural is coming. It's affecting men, women, and children alike. Lives are being transformed and will never be the same. The lame are walking, the blind can see, the dead are being brought to life, and the captives are being set free. No other time in the history of mankind has such power been given to the very elect. As darkness is covering our earth with fear and hopelessness, the creator of everything is sending forth his light for such a time as this. And what time is it? It's two minutes to midnight. And now, from his reality studios in New York, Here's two minutes to midnight. Well, praise the Lord again. Welcome to his reality television program. Amen. Well, we've been, I um, just wanted to, you know, sort of let everyone know again. I like to do this every session, let everyone know that um, you can call uh, Rick Jordan, Reality Ministry at 631-281-7172. To 7172 and you can call for that address and email and even to receive a free copy um, of the programs well glory to God and I'm Pastor Curtis Riley from Believing God's Word Church where um, I would like to invite you out sometime you can always call um, I think it's, we come on um, after this, the program you can see where we're at 158 Main Street in Hempstead you can always call us and uh, find out about the services, 516-505-3501. We'll be, we'll be more than happy to have you come and spend some time with us and fellowship with us. Amen. Uh, I want to apologize. Last, the last program, I, mean, I could not get to the last days. Uh, I have, I'm so filled with purpose. When I say purpose, when you understand God's purpose, you don't fight his plan. And what I mean by that, it just simply means that God's purpose from the beginning was to make man that will reflect him in the earth. God's purpose was having man connected to his kingdom, which will be the governing influence of heaven on the earth. And so and every time I see, and I understand that man is God's highest species of being. So I'm going to pray right now in the name of Jesus that your, your understanding, be, that your eyes be open, your ears be ready to hear and attentive to hearing, and your heart be receptive to God's word. Because God's purpose for your life has not changed. Your pl the plan might have gotten altered. A lot of things have happened. But remember, God never changes his purpose. His purpose for mankind was that we be kings and priests to him in the earth. And that every circumstance, every situation that man could ever face from at this point in life, that man will rise above it and, and treat that situation the way God would treat it if he was facing it. Because remember we quoted from Genesis 126 that God said, let us make man in our image and in our likeness, and let him have, and let's give him dominion over all, not some, not over few, over all. But what gives us dominion? Because we was under his authority. We was spiritually alive to God. Man is spirit, soul, body. And we talked about that last, uh, excuse me, I'm just trying to get a little comfortable. We talked about that last, uh, on the last program. Uh, I want to.